All right, everybody, welcome back to part 11 of my Outer Wilds playthrough. Hope you're all doing well. And we're going to be right back in with the Stranger today. Uh, last episode, we was really exploring the Stranger quite a lot. And um, we got... Uh, I don't want to say we, we found a way to this race's planet, because I don't know that that's the truth. But we definitely traveled there either in physical form or our, our consciousness traveled to their home planet um, obviously the way we travel there is via a dream and we started to sort of uncover and identify like a, a route through and right at the end we managed to find the locked thing I, I don't know the, the the lock structure PC's making a weird noise um, we found the lock structure and the vision we saw seemed to indicate that there is a way to turn off the lights, which I had previously um, thought about and theorized about earlier on in that episode. So I think we're going to spend a bit of time just um, exploring that idea and just to see whether or not there is um, anything else that can come of that. So. Um, yeah, really excited to jump back in, as always, so without further ado, let's, um, let's, um, resume and, uh, we'll get right to it. Alrighty then. Let's go, 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 go! On our first loop. of the evening. Secret passage. Yeah, you see that's what we've got trying to figure out here. Why did the, the why did the lamps go dark or how do the lights go dark? So that's what we're uh, looking at now. So I probably should bump and do. Where's the lab? I think it's the lab we probably want to go to. Can't remember where. I think the lab is before the dam, isn't it? So yeah, that's where we uh, want to head off. How you doing there, crazy? Hope you're well today. And Leo, I think I said hello to you, Leo. Hope you're well also. I can see my notes. I have a few. I don't know how many it will... Uh, I'm sure there at the minute how many are relevant. Oh. Well then. Gravity just kind of like happened. Gravity's kind of a little bit weird there. I don't know why. So we've got the artifact that we can pick up here. And save us going to look for one elsewhere, won't it? Right. Now, okay, so we're here. 
there was a, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here there is a, um, lack of a better term, a boat that we can use. Yeah, here we are. So we'll go to the, the dam, which is just down here. Isaac Nocton. <laughs> I just took a trip um, right at the beginning. I think, I think I'm sure it was the beginning of this year once uh, we were allowed to go out again to places after COVID. I actually took a trip this year to uh, with the kids to um, Isaac Newton's birthplace, actually, and I looked around uh, where he grew up and everything, which was quite interesting. Only about, um, about 30, 40 minute drive down um, away from my house. Okay, so, um, alright, so we want to doze off here. Cool. Oh! What? The actual hell. <laughs> um. Okay. You picked up version two artifact, the kind that created the whole breach? What? Oh dear, gold. Um, there's three versions of the artifact and only the third works. Okay. Note to self, uh, don't pick that one up again. Is that what your zoom eyes were referring to, LB? I saw that like, you zoom eyed, and I saw that like there was artifacts in there. I thought you was just pointing out the fact that there was artifacts in that box. See if we can discover gravity a little bit better this time. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at this again now. I don't know what the, the, the thing was. The thing was the shadow. I don't know. That it was the shadow that you was just like. It to me, it looked like there was something creeping up behind me. Or that there was like something there, even though it was like it brings like a whole new meaning to like the whole scared of your own shadow sort of uh, terminology. You can put all three on the table. So how do you how do you know if you've got? How do you know if you've got, like, which one you've got? Obviously, that's the... I'm loving this game. Crazy. Absolutely loving it.
So I take it those those two are the same, right? Those two on the end. This is the actual one that I want here. So this is version one. The version one is just a lamp. That's really interesting. So they kind of like went from a lamp to then this one where they can focus it. But obviously it doesn't keep the it doesn't keep the flame stable. Unlike this one that we can actually use. And then obviously there's the version three. Okay, so okay, that makes sense. I, okay, I think I understand the laboratory now. Then so this was all the different sorts of testing. So if we go back and we watch, we look at this clip here. Obviously, it shows it shows the uh, the creature going into here with the lantern, and of course nothing happens. They go to sleep, they wake up again, and nothing happens. They're in exactly the same spot. There's nothing in the lantern. And then, as we've just experienced there, there's no video on this one. Because the version 2 of the artifact just completely blows up and is unstable. Okay. Well, the video now makes sense, at least. So, note to self. We come in here. We take the one from the table, not the one out of the crate. And, uh, yeah, don't yeah, don't worry about the frames, Coco. That is literally just the, uh, the video that we were watching at the time. Okay, so where we left off last uh, last time out was in here, and we came to this new location here. Now, what I want to do first, I want to just I want to go back to watch this. Um, for lack of a better term, this video again. Oops. Uh, yeah, I want to watch this video again. Why can't I focus? I think my controller's playing up. Yeah, there we go. So, I want to go and look at the, the clip it again. Because... I'm pretty sure, as the video suggests, it's telling or showing us a way that we can So let's watch this carefully. Going into there, going to the room in the back where we found the last slideshow reel in there. I know exactly where that is. This person, this, this creature is then taking the artifact while telling the other one to stand still. Oh, 
Okay. So the question is, what did that other creature do while the original one was stood there? Also stairs again. Hmm. Also, how do we get back? Is the only way to get back to extinguish the flame. In which case, can we go and jump into some water somewhere? <laughs> Just like Aperture Science, Coco, what are you talking about? the top. Thank you. <laughs> Science is painful. So, we need to head there, and we need to try and work out what is, or what was happening in this other location. I think, to be fair, this is like one of my favourite parts of the whole Stranger, just like on these rapids, for lack of a better term. Takes me back to many moons ago. 22 years worth of moons ago when I went to Switzerland and actually did some proper whitewater rafting. the wrong am I the wrong tower?
there was a way through the rocks before. I'm sh oh, it's, I'm not in the right place. Okay. Cancel the panic call. It's fine. Oh, I've got eight minutes left until the loop resets. Okay, so... Thanks for the hydrate iron. Okay, so where does the other creature go? This just leads to the top, right? And there goes the dam. Away. Is that creature doing? What we're doing, standing here in the video, and then the lights start to go out. It looked like the creature went this way. I have an idea. 
we must restart the loop to we must restart the loop to put this into uh, into play okay just sort of thinking back to what we know there is a certain event that happens within the stranger quite early on before the dam breaks so we need to get there and get in position Once I get there and I'm get in position, I will um, I will elaborate a little bit more. Exactly. I mean, I know this is like technically a shortcut, but man, it's annoying to get into. Okay, I don't know if I need the artifact or not, but we'll take it with us. the raft have I yeah I'm actually thinking I don't know if this is the right thing to do for time wise I think I could have got. I could have. I think I could have come into a better position here if I'd have gone through the normal. Yeah, because I think the dam might slow me down too much here. But we'll see. We'll see. Clearly, LB's uh, LB knows what I'm going to try here. But yeah, I would have probably been better to come in at this point down here. the spirit Okay, so hopefully we've, uh, we're have we here in plenty of time. Uh, we are just coming up to four and a half minutes into the loop. And so what I'm going to do, there is, um, there is a weird event that occurs whereby there is a power cut or like a, a little power interruption. 
So hope what I'm hoping for is I will be stood here in front of this this secret passage here when the power cut hits and I'll be able to go through here because the, the lights will have been dimmed for long enough. I hope. That's the plan. That's what I'm hoping. Now, like I say, interestingly, I don't know how far into the loop the power cut um, or the power fluctuation, whatever you want to call it, actually occurs. So maybe what I actually alluded to in the previous episode about um, having some sort of way of doing it ourselves isn't right. But um, maybe there are secret passages to keep in mind. Thanks for the stretch, Coco. I may have to abandon real quickly in a minute. We're waiting for this. Coming up to, here we go. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well, yep, yeah, okay. Worth a shot. Um, okay, so. How else might we cut the power? Jeez, what's kicking off over there? The only other thing... Is it? It kind of looked a little bit weird. So the only other thing that I have noticed, but I didn't, I don't think it's over here, is 
Okay, let's... Um, It's more... I wonder if it's like... There's this little weird area over here. I wonder if... I don't know if this is... Is there anything to do with anything? Possibly not. Alright, I don't think I can get through there. But there is... Here. Death. Because I'm going through the rapids again. Yeah, I'm going to die. So down there, there is some, um, there are some, sorry, I should talk proper. Um, <clears throat> there are some, um, cables, some electricity cables, which run through the rocks. And when the dam bursts, they do spark. Now, I don't know if there's something to do there. Okay, I suppose if I'd have read that a little bit, if I'd have read this entry a little bit better, I'd have uh, understood about the artifact thing, because it tells you right there in that entry. Light coming out of the vault gave me a vision of climbing a spiral staircase to a room near the top of a tower. One, it's one of the... Strangers inhabitants point at the mural of the tower beneath the nighttime sky Then picked up an artifact and left the room Sometime later the lamps next to the mural went dark revealing a secret passage How did they go dark? We've got more to explore at the cove as well. We haven't really explored that to its fullest, so that that could be a that could be an avenue of um, to check out for now. Not that I want to deviate and um, give up on what we're looking at for the minute, but... Um, sure. This is going to go bad, isn't it? It's going to pull me back into the ship if I'm not careful.
Okay. So. Let's do just a... Um, I'm going to let's do a circuit, but no. Let's just go to the... Let's just go to the town. Let's see if we can't explore around there a little bit more. Just get that sort of area covered off. Um, yeah, I believe I have walked across the top of the dam. I just got like big chills and big spooks as I walked into here. Maybe I haven't been in here. Okay, I don't remember this. Then I have been on The Stranger for three episodes, so this is the third episode on The Stranger, so it wouldn't surprise me if I'd forgotten something. Okay, so this is like... Seems to appear like it seems to be indicating some like way that like, they're charging. They're taking energy from the sun and they're using it to charge something. Okay. Oh. Is this like another... Okay, so this is where I would normally come in, isn't it? Before I met... Before I found the... Um, the other route. But this side, there is no elevator. So if I go out here, this should take me to near where I've got the artifact for the first time. 
Turn the torch off before we walk into here. Yeah, this should be ne next to the ghost mat cave, the sh shack. Okay. Surprise! I didn't take damage there. I flew into there with uh, quite some force. Need to remember, I don't have a jetpack here. the other way around, doesn't it? I need to kind of get my bearings again of like as to where where everything is. I have kind of forgotten a little bit. This is where we just were a moment ago. This is the bit on the raft, isn't it? So that we can call the raft here. That's right. I noticed as well though, when I was here the other day, the, just heard the music there in the background. The the music doesn't last the whole the whole time of the loop. Almost like there's some um, It's almost like there's some of the inhabitants there and then at a certain point they disappear again. You see I can't the problem here is I need to I need to have gone somewhere else first to activate this jetty that appears here. So Yeah, this this is no good. Being here is is no good for us. And a bit my raft has got this one there though. Um 
There's one in there, though, is there? Oh, there is. Yeah, no, there is. Uh, I'm down. Damn it. Don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. It's a shame. I might be able to. There's a. Yeah, they're the, those, those right there. They're the wires that I was talking about previously. Hold on a moment. Okay. I wondered there if the I wondered if the two doors were interconnected some way. So if I open the door down below, whether that would allow me to it over here but alas it does not See, there's a hidden room right there. Right there. How do I get to there? It's got to be a structure that I can... There's got to be something that I can activate somewhere. Wait, it's not this structure over here, is it? know what it is. I think. I just came down here before and assumed it was that was that. Did I not think to I guess I didn't explore anymore.
Oh. Okay, so now, all right, frames. If I go back now that I've extinguished, oh, I'm about to run out of time. What if I go back now that I've extinguished flames in the other side? I think what's going to happen there in a minute, this tower's going to collapse and we're going to get submerged in water. Because we're almost at the end of the loop. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. That kind of that that makes perfect sense, though, for the simple fact that. Um, so I'm just going to pause there. I know we're almost at the end of the loop. I know, but um, I'll tell you what, let's unpause and I can talk while the, the loop's about to play out. That makes perfect sense, though, because thinking back to the video, the guy is is, is stood there. And the other guy has got the artifact in his hand. And, it, well, I say guy, we don't know the gender. But the other um, inhabitant um, walks away with the artifact in its hand. And the artifact isn't lit. It, the, the inhabitant just has it in its hand. So that makes perfect sense. You know, the other person, one stands there, or the other goes back to their planet there or the whatever whatever we're seeing this is they go back to the other location and um they um they blow out the candles okay so new new thought on this then mm, maybe not i was thinking back to I was thinking back to um, where I originally had my thoughts in the last episode about there being more doors that I could open. And it was in the bottom of that like communal area. There was two lanterns either side of the door. So I was just thinking, is there, is there some lit candles in the normal time frame I found a projection that shows a stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova oh is, is that what that is that what that's showing All right. Well, I was completely wrong because I thought that was um, I thought that was showing some sort of power or something. How wrong I was! Yes, yeah, so the communal area conversation that I was just sort of having there is. I wonder if. Yeah. Yes, indeed, Leo. Um, 
I wonder if it works both ways though. What I'm trying to say is, is there an area in the stranger? Um What are we gonna do here? Yeah, you know what, let's just go. Oh, let's just head to the lab. I need to nail this I need I need to work on this landing. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I've not, I've still not finished that, finished that sentence off, have I? Um, I wonder if there's an area like in the Stranger that has candles as well that's reminiscent of that, like lower common com communal area. It almost looks like a bar or something. I know it's not a bar, um, where there was that other image of the Saturn looking planet I almost wonder you know the, the, I know it doesn't look like one but it did cross my mind over the weekend when I was thinking about bits and pieces as to whether like the the Saturn um, looking planet we see in all these murals is actually their star from their 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 solar system Oh, really? Well, yeah, I suppose um, if you haven't followed the correct procedure and, and you don't know the, the, you haven't uncovered the way to do it, then it's always going to be a bit weird. Is almost like that's probably like how you thought I might have felt when I uh, uncovered the uh, how to maneuver in these lanterns without to actually finding the uh, laboratory first.
wonder if I go up there and extinguish that one. Only those two, and the other the other hint I noticed. I know I didn't comment on it all the time, but the other hint to notice was back in the um, back in on the stranger. This lamp is disabled. Whereas if I go back now, obviously it will be active. So I suppose that's another um, another little subtle hint there. It's easy when you uh it's easy when you know how you know what you're doing, isn't it? When you have the answers. All that jazz. <gasps> so what waking up in that room with no lights on is a bit spooky. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Let's see what we got down here then. Aha! No! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That was annoying. I pressed shift to do a screen grab, and uh, obviously, shift on keyboard is uh, the button to um, fly. So, these have actually been burnt off, which is interesting. So, I guess they're the codes for. Okay, I've got a second one here. Um, ah, hold on. I got a. What I don't like about the Windows 11 snipping tool is that, um, find my other one. There it is. Um, it doesn't let you do multiples. So I have to then go into paint and I have to go back to my clipboard history and I have to paste it into paint and do it that way. Either that or save, save them individually. All right, so I've got two new codes here. And the rest have been burnt off, which is interesting. The first one I've got is... So this one is the one I'm interested in at the minute. This one is over at the... Um... This one is over at the... near the laboratory, isn't it? There's nothing else here, though, is there? It's just those codes. And if obviously these are these are the locks, so these are the locks for the um, 
for whatever it is that they, they've concealed in the big structure. And then they've burnt the codes so that nobody can, I gather, so that nobody can actually um, open them. Which is interesting. Makes you think that there's something um, really sinister inside there, doesn't it? Where I want to go? I can't remember. Mm, no, I think I wanted to go. I think it's a dead end, isn't it? This way. No, it is this way. It is this way. I thought that was that like little cove, out, that little alcove place where it just sort of leads to well, like an alcove. It doesn't actually lead anywhere. Yeah, the alcove at least the alcove. Just remember, I'll be. I I don't think. I don't think at all. go all the way around though don't we I know I was called out last time I did this to feel like taking the long and convoluted way but we can't go through there because the door is locked from this side so we do have to go around and if I remember rightly it's left and right. So interested by this chain. I was looking at this last time and I didn't really bring much attention to it when I was looking at it, but I don't know what that chain is holding up or what it leads to. Okay, so we want um, sun. And that and flame. That and flame again. No? Did I get the codes wrong? Oh, maybe I did. Star, star. Well, that explains the chain. That explains the chain. <laughs> Secret room. Okay, we've got stuff to... Some... It's in the light so I can actually see where it is. The lamp. 
Mountain. Oh, I was supposed to land here. Okay. So it's given me three locations. Okay. Where would you look at that? There's a bridge there. Something there by the alcove alcove. And then there's a building, a hidden building off to the side. Are these, are these showing me locations Are these showing me locations in the other world, perhaps? Well, I call it another world, but, but for lack of a better term. Excuse me. So wait, they've they've documented it, but then they've but okay. So this whatever this thing is here, this place, this has a memory of everything that was on the slides before they then burnt it. But it it, it shows us what what actually happened to the burnt slides, and then they burnt all the reels. Okay. So am I right in thinking then that those locations those locations possibly hold the key To what we can't see on the burnt slides.
Okay. Okay, I've got an idea. Uh, we're out, pretty much out of time, though, for this loop. And I'm not sure I can now get back up there because things got damaged. But I have an idea. Of how we might be able to get into this one, at least. Obviously, the... Uh, the, my time, the, my loop timing is going to be slightly out because we've been reading ship logs and watching videos and stuff. But we're pretty much out of time. I don't think I can get across there anymore anyway, can I? Now that the bridge and everything was destroyed. I think I blew it. I didn't blow it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well. I'm not going to ruin and spoil anything for the next loop. But um, I think it's pretty obvious what and where we're going to be going with this. Okay. So. Time for a, a wee drinky poos. And uh, then we'll jump next loop. So, um, yeah, what, what are we going to actually uncover? Will we... Maybe, yeah, ending the loop on a cliffhanger indeed. Maybe we'll get to find out um, some of the codes of uh, that we're missing or something. Who knows? All right, I'm going to grab a quick drink, guys. I'll be right back. Then we will head straight back to the stranger and see if we can't uh, uncover some of the mysteries surrounding those burnt reels. So, uh, yeah. I will be right back. Alrighty then. Let's get back to it. No time to lose. Alright, um, not going to read that just yet, I want to, um, I just want to get back to the stranger, but yeah, that was a, a lot of new nodes on the map. A lot of new nodes. Alright, so we read that one. Room full of burnt side reels, pine is a strange device. Direction seems reverse cycle within the stranger. Same thing, same thing. Uh, Bannon Temple Mark with symbol of, burning, of a burning slide reel. It could be accessed from this hole and gorge. Seems so face upstairs used to line up symbols vertically and the temple. Burn slides shows the strangers in habits removing all the slide reels from their shelves, scanning each reel with a device and incinerating specific slides. Yeah. 
Uh, Ballantin will be stuck in the somewhere within Stranger. Wooden containers marked with different symbols. Through the containers marked with glowing vault seals, but they're, yeah, burned away. That symbol of burn aside real and vertical sequence symbols inside. And then that's the other one. And then we've still got more to explore there. And that is where we're heading right now. See if I can keep up my um, relatively good um, landing from last time. I think the trick is I've learnt the trick. Tricks to land on like this bit here. This bit. I think that's the trick. Alright, I'm not going to take the artifact with me at the minute. I don't want the artifact. We're on a pure fact-finding mission here. To uncover the truth. Oh, you pig. Do you know what, right? I looked at that and I thought, yeah, the control the control panel's bust, so I gotta go all the way around again. <laughs> Not forgetting the actual controls are on the um Not forgetting the actual controls are on the elevator itself. That makes loads more sense, right? Okay. Secret passage. We will uh, look at the uh, look at that device in a moment. Mika, what's going on? Don't worry about being late, buddy. Always good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, so this is. Um I guess this is just a shortcut to like the real storage room. Yeah, okay. That makes perfect sense. So this was like a, a quick way that they were able to um, take these reels and bring them to this location to burn them, I assume. Okay. And this is the master slide. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I don't like the fact that that pitch change is uh, pretty darn spooky. Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, I've just got to get the the reel and take it away. You've watched all of them. We're doing well, thanks, Mika. Doing well indeed. We are. Continuing to uncover more and more secrets. Now I need a lantern though. Uh, I suppose we're going from here. Okay, we might be in for some spooky times here. Let's see what we're going to uncover here. Oh, there's an invisible bridge. What did we actually learn there? I remember going here. I remember I've been to here. Yes, I was asking about those lights before. Yeah, they're the ones that I was re referencing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's jump on a raft before it's, um... I just think we've got a raft here, have we? No, we have not. Although, we should be all right to just go over here, right?
Yeah, I was saying this to Mika earlier on, actually, uh, that, um... Okay. <laughs> um, I was saying to Mika earlier on that actually I've not watched myself. Hold on. Was the other one here or not? I'm trying to think. No, I don't think it was here, was it? Um, I hadn't actually watched the... Turn that off. Watched the Star Wars films um, before I went away to university, actually. And so I actually watched them. By the time I got around to watching them, um, episode three was just coming out of the cinemas. So I ended up watching Star Wars films in, like, film chronological order rather than the actual way they were released. So, um, yeah, I got to kind of, like, enjoy it all as, like, a, a proper story rather than seeing the last bits and then seeing the first but like you I've not I've not seen the later ones myself either um I know what happens in the force awakens but that's weirdly that's only because I played the lego um star wars force awakens game because my son had it and I played it on the playstation so I kind of know what happens in that film based on um around here isn't it sorry i'm getting distracted i know uh, i know what happens on there based on what i've done in the game but that's about it can't remember where it was it's there I'm sure i just saw it This will take us again to the other area. So let's instead easier to get out of. I'll try and uh, I'll try and catch it the next one then, LB. assumption here will be this takes me to the slide room that was over here Yeah, I just had a sneeze. We're all good. Yeah, I need to find a lantern, though. I guess I've got to go back. Get this lantern from over here. has actually gone out now. Uh, it's a little 
annoying. I don't think, I think this whole area gets waterlogged. So we might have to take the reel somewhere else to be able to look at it in this loop. Drop the lantern, it seems. If it's um, you can't drop the lantern if you are underwater. Mm, yeah, okay. I, I never thought about doing that, LB. You are indeed correct. Okay, um, I want to find a raft. Okay, um, where can we look at this? I think we're going to have to go to... All, if we can, I think we're going to have to go all the way back to the... The cliffside area, aren't we? Over here. The projector room probably does work, but the problem is with the the um, the lantern. The lantern was dead. And that whole area gets waterlogged. So the projector's underwater and the lantern will go out, won't it? Not, will it not? Okay, we should just be able to squeeze this one in in time before the loop ends. Uh, but I've got to go around that way, which is a bit problematic. It's going to take a bit more time. Oh, okay. Uh, if I'm honest, I can't quite remember where the second town projector is, so I think it's probably it was probably just safe for me to come this direction. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble here though, because I've not got a lantern. Um, oh no, I have got a lantern. I've already been here, haven't I? Of course. Right, take it back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is going to tell me. Walks through a fire. Okay. So, so far, I thought what was going to happen here. I, I thought, obviously, I didn't. I didn't look at the symbol on the plaque and compare it, but I thought what was going to happen was 
that person was going to walk off and I thought it was going to be the handoff that we saw earlier on the same handoff and I thought what we might have seen there is this person here or this this inhabitant here that we're viewing from the perspective of now would go somewhere to blow out some candles or do something to activate that um to activate that door Yeah, it just walks through the fire. Okay. So our third and final one is actually somewhere like right above us. I believe... No, it's not. It's about there, isn't it? Because the other town's here. Yeah, the other town's here. So the other one is literally where my cursor is pointing right now, I believe. On that little rock formation over there. a rock formation but to be fair we could probably just call it a cliff because that's what it actually is a cliff and the moon was close One thing, one thing I kind of like haven't touched on that's been like the back of my mind is like our our character right in game. How unlucky, right, is our character? The fact, like the the, the day that our character gets to go into space and to start like exploring space is the same day that the event occurs and he literally has we literally have like 22 minutes of exploration before um the whole universe ends basically first trip into space and they have 22 minutes before everything ends She's going to get off the raft. And we're going to walk. Assuming we can. I think we want to be on here. I believe. That's probably what this little, um, that's what the cove cove is, maybe.
Maybe the Cove Cove isn't so uh, useless after all. If it's the hiding spot for uh, the burnt reels. Day now will be not gets cranky if he doesn't get his uh, his daily walk in. Gotta get me that exercise. Exercise, gotta get it all. Don't know why I'm singing Pokemon. Pokemon in my life, so to break out singing the Pokemon theme tune is a bit bizarre and out of character. Okay, given that these all back on to, or well, these have seem seemingly have backed on to the existing projection, there's a bridge down there. say it would make sense to be on this rock somewhere. Just need to save my jetpack. Well we could just do it this way. Works too. Let's go and open this door first. Yeah, I've never watched Pokemon and I've never really I've never played any of the games or I never really it's not really been my cup of tea but I think I think I don't know I kind of feel like it came at a time where I was not I was a bit too late for the like jump on the Pokemon bandwagon if that makes sense Flick it on and off, okay. I think I missed it. I missed it, I'm sorry, I'll be. I are rubbish. Um, I'm a little bit concerned though, that door's going to shut. So I guess I'm just going to have to leave my scout out here. I guess we'll have to, um, before the stream's out, we'll have to go and uh, we'll have to do this again. At one of the locations.
Yes. I hate to see it. Well, uh, we'll just go by the Temple of Time, I guess. launch the scout at the dam? Most definitely not. Also, I've been in the freaking water, haven't I? Oh, jeez. I didn't even notice my lantern had gone out. Womp, 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 womp. It's more of a <laughs> All right, well, I managed to navigate it successfully that time. Alright. Um. Interesting. So that's... There's one of those... There's like a guard thing, isn't there? So from this location here... They jumped... They didn't jump off the raft, per se... There is something hidden on the right there. Which you can zoom over to. And then you can deactivate the lights here. Which then allows you to go down to the middle. Okay. Time to make some notes. So, we have... Uh, we've done that and we've done that. So, um... Number one, turn lights off in middle of the village. Yeah. Step two, um, walk through fire. Not sure where that is, but we need to walk through fire. And step three, um, walk through Put dorm door in common area, and I'll know what that means. Okay. So, um, one other thing. One other thing we need to be wary of is we got another code, didn't we? Where is the other code used?
The only places I've used the code is there. If I remember. I think there's an, there was an area on a shack up there that I used it at. And then the one... <laughs> Arts and crafts with knock. Was it the reservoir? Was it there? Okay, there. It is. Yeah, it's that building there, isn't it? But that's not the code. That's not the other code I found, though. The code for that was contained within the building. Then we had the code for that area over there, which took us to the elevator to revenge the burnt locations. That the, the the code I've got left is um, for a it looked like it was for some some sort of tower. The the image on the like, on the casing. Yeah, I've got a, I've got one I've got a code I've got an image of it. I've, I've got a picture of a co the code that I haven't used right here at the minute. I guess I'm going to have to explore the stranger again just to see if I can find where that code is. Will be in action, will it? Oh well. I think this just leads up to crossing over the reservoir here, does uh, the the river here, doesn't it? Yes. Then this is where we use the code.
Does it say anything? It looks a bit weird. Okay, guess not. Um This is just where everything is locked. I mean, there's a code on the opposite side. There's three codes, isn't there? But they're they're all the ones for the ones the codes that have burnt been burnt out. I mean, the other, the other thought process here to have is there might not even be any more codes on the stranger as such. The remaining codes might all be in the um, the remaining codes might all be in the other place. The um, yeah. I need to do go back and my broadcast. See if I can just I just want to pinpoint the symbol. Okay, that's not it. Let's be opening it up. Going back. Okay. That was the end of the loops. So that's when that happened. So almost found it. Okay. So, uh, what I'm looking at right now. Um, so, not that one, it's not that one. Go a little bit further. It's too far, knock. Okay, this should be it. Yeah, I want to take you to get a picture of that symbol LB. Oh, I missed it the first time around anyway, so I don't have to be scanning around like I was. Let me turn and take a screenshot. There. That's our screen. That's our symbol. So the question is. Question is, where did we see that? Uh, 
Where did we see that? And also, um, I've just lost that, haven't I? I've just lost the other thing I was taking. Um, yeah, pretty much what... Um, what Leo said there, that's the, actually, I've already saved it. We're good, actually. Yeah, all right, I've got it. Well, that's the code. Yeah, that's the code. And that's the symbol. What is that? What is that? Symbol. What is that symbol? It's not something to do with the eye, is it? it doesn't help that it's a slightly blurry picture. I'll be able to get a... Um, I'll be able to get a better picture of it when I look at the actual recording rather than trying to rely on the Steam. Uh, the, sorry, the Twitch VOD. Um, given that I only stream at 720 by uploading 1080. as good a place as any to restart the loop and I think what we'll do is we'll probably the last loop of the night as well we'll, um, we'll just have a good look at the map we'll have a good look at the map and we'll see if we can't identify that symbol somewhere on their map Hey, Legov. Hopefully I got the, your uh, name correct. You've been enjoying the Let's Play so far and currently on episode two. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Glad you are enjoying it indeed. We're, uh, we're definitely having loads of fun with this game. Found inside a just container marked with a glowing symbol. Being handed, lights are extinguished in the fire, and the figure carries a container into a secret passage behind the mirror of a large tree. Um, what was that? This one. Okay, so this is the this is the room that I've called like the uh, communal area. The endless. So this area here is reminiscent of the gorge here. Check part 10. 31 minutes. Two seconds. I don't know why it went to studio. Okay. This is 
of like screenshots of stuff as I'm working through different bits and pieces. And for some reason, they've like removed the um, ability to take. Oh, sorry. If you didn't check YouTube, then that's going to be before then, isn't it? Sorry. All right, let's check uh, Twitch instead then. So it's the same, it is the same code then. Wow. I've been on a wild goose chase. For this one anyway. All right, well I can get rid of that code. Get rid of that code. Thanks, LB. All right, so. Um, well, that's fair enough. Container mark of a glowing symbol being handed to show if your lights are extinguished and the figure carries container down into a dark well. So yeah, that's the well, and then just there, there is one of those figures guarding it. So if there's any light, then uh, the, the alarm bells ring. Now, is there... Well, it's not so much that one, though, is it? It wouldn't be that one. So that's the secret f fireplace. That cave, right there, I've raised questions about that before, but that cave is a bit suspicious. Um, now, because we don't have the jetpack when we go through into, like, the other the other reality, um, I don't know where the entrance to that is. I'm not sure we found the entrance to that. Also, Mika, thanks for hanging, buddy. Is that the cave you arrived from in the raft? I don't know. Possibly. Have a good one there, Mika. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it, as always. Take care. I'm pretty sure when I went when I went through there before, there was um, there is just like a cave that there is a cave in the cliff, but I wasn't sure how to get to it. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. It's a bit misleading. It just to me, that looks like it's in the cave. You can't really see much of a river there. I suppose this is the river, but uh, so there's a lot of like graining on the photo. So um, yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. Um, all right, so where are we gonna go? Where do we go? Where should we go? I think... See, I'm going to ask a question. It's, I think it's more of a rhetorical question because I don't expect you to tell me the answer, but... Is there still a way to see what was on the burnt slides? Because we we saw we saw the video of or the slideshow of the inhabitants burning the slide reels, but they put them into that machine. Now when I went to when I went to one of those rooms and tried to put the slide all right I'm all right let's let's say what I'm not going to right, let me just ignore everything I've just been talking about for a minute. What was you what was the thing you said at the start of the stream that you had thought you were on the right track with, by the way? Ah, uh, good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> I answer your question with another question. <laughs> what day is it? <sighs> Stop. Press the wrong button. So I didn't land on there particularly well. Much better. Excellent question. Next question, please. Okay. Um, Airboats does Deathwish have? Last time out, I think I've got fifty one thousand one hundred and fifty eight, so more than fifty one thousand one hundred and fifty eight, I would say. Okay, so... Uh, 
The real question is, how many airboats do I have? Okay, a couple of things I want to just look at here. So, first things first. <laughs> if I put this in here I was wondering, right, because the, the, the inhabitants put the slides into here, to, I, I guess, to make some form of backup of all of these slides that have been burnt, right? So I just wondered, is there a way, was there a way to repair them? Or even get the knowledge of them? But I don't see a way to activate this. Okay. Okay, tell me again, LB, what I need to do here. Does it turn it? You said off and on, not on and off. Oh, there we go. It spins around. Pretty cool. Yeah, okay. So again, another rhetorical question. Can this be repaired? I just wonder if there is more information here to discover. And it's midnight. Thanks, MySQL. Always a pleasure to uh, have you grace, grace us with your presence. Okay. I'm in a bit of a weird spot. I don't re really know what or where to go. So what, let's go over here. And I have the artifact somewhere and I've put it down and I don't know where, but luckily one right here. Baffle me, baffles me a little bit that you can put the lantern back and the passage doesn't close.
that's there. That's the cave I was talking about, LB. That one right there. So you get that that comes down there. Okay, so I wonder, hold on, hold on, I wonder. Just sort the of thought of how I might get there. Maybe. I said maybe, baby, please. I just don't know now. Yeah, that's the weird, uh, that's the door we need to open. That I had my suspicions and reservations about. And I was right to do so. Well, not necessarily, Leo. I... I would see I would maybe go on the theory that uh, I don't have no let's say if I got my scout I, mean, I haven't I was just wondering if I could put my scout in there just to see if I can get a look at that um, creature in there um anyway, I digress the um I I personally put it down just to like those the special sort of light that's emitted from those lanterns as opposed to any form of light. Therefore, the flashlight would be fine. Because your flashlight doesn't make a difference normally, I wouldn't have thought. But... That's just my... two cents. Also, that's not the right way. Oh really? Okay. Then I take it back. Take it back, take it back, take it back to my place. That's down there, isn't it? Or over here. There it is. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Yes, that cave is down there. That's probably what I need to open the door for. Yeah, and that takes me down to there, which I don't need. <sighs> okay, so. So, like I said, based on the theory that changing a light source here. I say they normal candles there, but I don't think they are. Why well, Mr. Path here?
Uh, was this the place? Oh, I've got to lose. This was the place we saw the person walking across the invisible bridge. Uh-oh. Secret path discovered. Okay. That was this one, right? I didn't like that warning noise. That room wasn't open before. Okay.
Okay. Let's have a breather. <laughs> oh. Shades of the Talos Principle right there. So that's not the intended way to do that then. Obviously, looking at the comments. These the reels. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I guess I can't. I guess that one's just for decoration and I can't get that one. Oh, no, I can't get it. It's the new one though. the artifact down and they walk out the range of it Okay, I wonder if... Okay.
Okay. open that and go back can I then I don't know what I'm looking for or like doing at that point there though. See, I can't. I can't move away from here. Um, I would say now, because I may not be coming back to this exact location, LB. I don't know, we're almost at the end of the loop, which doesn't help. Let's try and break the game, though. Might be coming back here after all. What happens if I go into the water? Oh, I just die. No, I just come back to here. Okay. Well, we'll be uh, we'll be heading back there tomorrow. I think is the uh, is the uh, the thing there because um, I mean we'll just ch we'll just check the we'll check the ship log and everything now, but oh what? So what? That's bizarre. I went to meditate until the next loop. <laughs> and it counts as sleeping. Okay. Okay. See, so yeah, I don't know... Obviously, the visions we've seen then, okay, the visions we've seen are the inhabitants, the inhabitants are taking those plaques, those codes, whatever they are, and somehow they are linked. I can't remember if now am I right? So I, I guess not. That's gone. Um, somehow that's linked to the locations where they've appeared over here, right? Full of intact reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. Yes, okay. 
I found a slide reel that shows the strange inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slides reveal the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their hate their home moon. Found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the strange inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond the projection radius. Did I see that? Creation of a simulated reality model after the home move. Must have done. Yeah, it must have been in that first one that we looked at. Okay. I don't think I don't think I've missed anything with that um the vault seal thing. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think there was anything more to find on the vault seal. So we've got two more locations to explore here then. The fireplace and the well. But we also need to go back to the... We also need to go back here as well. Um, to the archive to hopefully properly... Um, work out the puzzle and um, get past the guy and we'll see if we can uh, check that easter egg out um, if I can close off the common area one because we know how to do that one now I'll just put E in archive second floor I don't know what that means Well, I'll I'll keep it on the I'll keep it on the list as an Easter egg. So maybe something we can do um, afterwards. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. So um, big progress indeed. As for whether or not um, I answered what the the questions I posed at the beginning of the stream, I don't know because I can't remember what question I posed and what theories I had at the beginning of the stream. So um, LB, if you do watch it back, as you often do on YouTube. If you won't mind uh, refreshing my memory or at some point, then uh, that would be fantastic. Whether or not I've uh, found that or not, I honestly do not know. But guys, thank you very much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate you tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow night once again with um, another episode and uh, tipping, <laughs> ticking off some of the, uh, hopefully, these, these last few bits. I mean, I don't know how much more this uh, the stranger here has to offer but we've got four three question marks and one point of um one point of um that we haven't really fully explored um to go at least for now but um hopefully we're going to be closing in on the answers real soon but thanks a lot for tuning in guys i really do appreciate your support um and I said at the top of the stream for everybody over in America, have a great Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, stay safe, all that, it's all the usual jazz. And until next time, happy gaming. Thanks guys, bye-bye.